So I'm back, and we're going to uh, paint some um, sand dollars. I got these in PEI. They're very fragile. So I don't know, there's a bit of paint on that one. But it, just to give you an idea, sometimes the colors may be just a little bit on the red side. I'll put them here as a reference. I also have some shells. And this shell here, you'll find them sometimes with a hole. So just to get, so I'll put those aside because I'm not sure yet. So in order to uh, do this project, um, you might need some scissors. So, you know, this one here, it kind of goes, uh, I can uh, make sure that I cut it like I want it to look like this. See, and then I'll trim it because we're going to use these little templates, or I don't know how you want to call them. So I'm just cutting it up, and there we go. So I've got pretty much the shape of that one. I've already cut up some all kinds of it's cardboards, right. So I've got a few already cut up. So what I could do is we could just do two uh, sand dollars, but we'll make it interesting. We'll put one on top of another and we'll put a seashell like that in the corner like this. When you put them down, you can just put them down like that or you can use some of the masking tape to make sure it doesn't move by taping the back and positioning it where you want. Sounds good? You never put anything smack in the in the middle. You try to have a nice composition. Um, you can add smaller uh, sand dollars here and here, but for now, these are, this is what we're going to do. So I'm gonna prepare some of my paint. So I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna pick up, can you, I hope you could see well. I'll just go like this so you guys can see. I think you can see it, or it's not too shiny. I think it's better like this, eh? Okay. So I'm going to pick up some uh, burnt umber, and I'm going to make myself a pile here. Just put that underneath, because that way I can see the color. See, you can see the color better. So out of here, I'm going to make myself a nice puddle. Like that. Set it aside, clean your brush. And I'm going to prepare some of this Venetian red right here. Just make myself a pile. And some clean water. I'm going to prepare some yellow right here. Clean water. I'll prepare this, whoops, there's a lot of paint there, so. That's the um, transparent red oxide. A little trick, don't leave your brushes in the water if you want to keep them for a very long time. I'm going to prepare some yellow reds. And I'm going to prepare some of this blue right here and make a nice purple, like a very dark purple. Sounds good? This is where the fun part comes in. It doesn't matter if it all mingles, I'll clean my palette afterwards. So now we're going to start creating some sand first. By putting these guys down, it's better if I take that one. By putting these guys down, my paper is going to say white underneath these little templates that I'm putting in, like this. And then we'll paint those afterwards. So, the first things first is, I'm going to start making sand. Now, if you're, in P, if you're from PEI or in that area, some of the sand there is beautiful red. Depends if you want it sand that comes from Florida or tropical islands. Just remember when you were sitting on that beach, what are the colors you see? And if you really look closely, sand has all of these colors in it. 
purples, blues, and even greens. So we can make a little bit of green too. We're gonna get some purple. And as you noticed, I am putting the brush down and I'm going towards me. If I go like this, I'm gonna have it all over everywhere. This way I have a better control. I'm very close to my paper and I'm putting it towards me. I'll get some blue and I'll mix it up here with the yellow. Can you see that? I'm making a little bit of a green. And I'm gonna put some green in there. And you can have fun doing this for quite a while. And you can have more greens. You can clean that brush off if you find it's too much. Um, I'm going to put some of this brown here, Venetian red. And I'm going to make it on purpose to make little puddles. You'll see what I'm going to do with those little puddles. A little bit of yellow. And for this step, we need to wait for it to dry. So we're going to let it dry, and we've got a couple of steps to do afterwards. So I'll see you soon. So it has dried, and uh, now I'll just remove. Can you see? Now we have exactly where we want our sand dollars to be. And uh, remember that I had one on top, so I'm just going to put this paper back to approximately where it was so that I can use my pencil to draw the line. This one's on top of this one, okay? And then we'll remove this one. That's for our seashell. Okay, so it just gives you an idea of where everything is now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a background to this. Not worried about these here. They're going to end up being little rocks eventually. So now, depending on where, which beach you're doing, I'm doing a beach in PI. So I'm going to use um, the Venetian Red which is pretty much this color. And I'm gonna make it very light and we're gonna call it a glaze so that I can put a little background to this. So very easily, it has to be like very light, you know, like extremely light with lots of water. And what you're trying to do is you're just trying to put a little background. Don't over blend, you'll remove what you did but I'll just make those little dots, spots, come out, which makes the graining of the sand. You see that? Can you, you're starting to see the sand, right? Well, no, if you're, you want to do Florida, well, then you can use a little bit more on the yellow side. And I'll do it a little yellow here. And make sure you don't rub it. After you've done this, we need to uh, dry it. So I'm going to go back to my little red. Making sure I have lots of water. And then we'll work on those seashells. So every step takes a little work. Okay, so what you need to do now is leave it alone. And if it needs retouch, after we've played with the shells, we can do re little retouches. You don't worry about it. The lines are not straight and it's very soupy. If I rub, I'll show you. If I rub, it's like I'm removing what I, all the work I did with the brush, with the toothbrush. So we don't want to do that. And we'll be right back after it dries.